In the punishing cold of an Arctic mountain in the remote Svalbard Islands, a doorway leads to what's meant to be the safest place on Earth. Good thing they've bridged the road here. Scientists are on their way, approaching through this isolated and hostile terrain. And I'm with them as they carry a precious cargo of seeds to be kept out of the way of whatever climate change might bring. I mean, how often do you get these deliveries? As we have deliveries three times a year. The box of seeds is about to go through the first line of security. There are half a dozen in all. I've just come down the access tunnel that's cut into the mountain here. This place is 130 meters above sea level because if the worst happens and global warming melts all of the polar ice caps, this project will still be safe. OK, so this is the next stage. The deeper inside the mountain we go, the more the temperature drops. The store is designed to survive any natural disaster. The seeds can last here for a very long time. It depends on what crop it is, but some of the crops may survive for more than 4,000 years. You're really imagining this place functioning, keeping the seeds safe for 4,000 years? Well, it's difficult to say. I'm sure that the pharaohs thought that their pyramids would last long, and they did. The last barrier to the store itself. OK, here we go. Inside here, it's minus 18 Celsius. The rows of shelves are filling up with seeds from all over the world. There are samples of nearly half of the most important food crops, brought here just in case. Samples of seeds used to be held in glass test tubes. Now they're kept in little plastic packets, and there are more than 800,000 of these in this vault. And everywhere you look, there are examples of why this place matters. There are seeds from Syria, plants that are good at coping with drought, and some have just been returned to the Middle East. When harvests are ruined by extremes of weather, having backup copies of key seeds is essential. Another threat is flooding, which can damage national stores of seeds. This happened in the Philippines. And with industrial scale farming, most food comes from just a dozen varieties of plants. So keeping different genetic types helps to guarantee supplies. It is for the survival of mankind in the future. I mean, we need the diversity, all the different kinds of, of plant material to get foods for the future. We have a lot of problems seeing us now, climate change, environmental problems, and to tackle that, we need genetic variation. So in these remote mountains, this place is meant to be a safeguard against apocalypse, an insurance policy for a warming world. David Schuchman, BBC News, in Svalbard, in the Arctic.